All around the world, people love cilantro as an addition to any dish, but did you know how medicinal this plant is? And for me, it's life-saving. And honestly, this could be life-saving for other people. So if you don't mind liking and sharing before I get into this, that'd really help a lot of people, I think. One of the reasons you see me in my lab so often trying to work is because I need a lot of curing. Got a lot of lead in my body from being pupued. 3.5 units of lead per deciliter is considered unsafe and toxic to the human body, and I have 12. And as time goes on, more than likely the stuff that's remaining in my body will break down, toxifying it further. Heavy metals enter our body in many different ways, uh, whether it be aluminum and deodorant or mercury from the fish industry. We also pick up nickel, uranium, cadmium, and lead. The process of removing them in the medical industry is called chelation therapy. But luckily, we have chelacious herbs, like cilantro. In an algae well known for its chelacious property called chlorella. When combined, chlorella and cilantro make an amazing blood detoxifier and heavy metal detoxifier. Some of the symptoms that I have from having so much lead in my body is irritability, insomnia, muscle aches, um, memory issues, cognitive delay, gastrointestinal issues, and also just a lot of aches and pains all over my body. If not addressed, then these issues can eventually lead to things like Alzheimer's. But studies show and suggest that in a 45 day period of taking the proper dosage of cilantro and chlorella, that 87% of lead can be removed from the body, 91% mercury and 74% aluminum can be excreted. Chlorella and cilantro bond to the metal ions and then act as a diuretic to flush them out. I'll be making a tincture that I intend on taking for a 45 day period and then go in to see if I've actually brought the lead levels down in my blood and I'll report back to you. As always, do your own research. You want to make sure that these herbs work for you. But when it comes to my unique disposition on this planet, it gives me hope. Mother Earth always seems to provide some sort of answer if you look hard enough. So do some thorough research and see if this little knowledge nugget can help you in some sort of way. I love you all so much and I hope you stay wild.